universal screeners are tools that schools can use um, over the course of the school year to check in and sort of benchmark where kids are. You do it in the fall, you do it in the winter, you do it in the spring. And at each point, it gives you really valuable information that helps inform what's happening in the classroom. The way we're implementing the universal screener is we're doing it three times a year. So we're doing it as a benchmark assessment. And, and what that's allowing us to do is see uh, achievement at certain levels of the year, and it also allows us to see growth. Um, and that's good for two reasons. One, so we can see how students overall are making progress and how they're responding to our core instruction. Um, and the other part, which is a really big part of um, using Universal Screener, which is for instructional purposes. So when the teachers receive this data from the assessment, and it's a lot of data, um, it really is going to point to what are students ready for next. Um, so it's, it really becomes this teaching tool um, for instruction. It's an adaptive assessment, um, so the students, as they take it, as they get answers uh, correct, the next question gets more difficult. Um, and so what, you're, what it's doing is it's measuring learning, um, kind of outside of even grade level. It will even push you past your grade level content that you're in if the test is you know, adapting to that because you're, you're performing at that level. Um, so the, every student's getting a different test. Um, so the test is unique to the student and the data is unique to the student. In the 2020-21 school year, we ran a pilot. First, we did the research. We identified the most common universal screeners that are out there commercially available for schools. Again, we reached out and talked with other school systems, got feedback, met with the providers of the different universal screeners, and then ran a pilot. We tested several screeners in our schools in the spring. It actually helped us. We used the data to help set up our summer COVID recovery program, but we looked at the different programs and the different tools to see which one best meet the needs of our students, best aligns with the tenets of the ride commitment, and helps inform our instruction and improve our differentiation in the classroom. And that's how we identified the NWEA, which is a common tool used across the United States that really gives you a great picture into the growth of students across the school year. What the NWEA gives us is that, that additional um, insight through three assessments across the school year, an additional insight that helps us to identify, is there a problem that we need to do something differently about? And it, it then allows us to apply when necessary in intervention for a period of time. And then you get to see not too soon after whether or not it's having an impact and, and you're seeing that growth at a rate that you would expect for our children. Uh, the other important thing to keep in mind with the NWEA is that it is one measure of student growth and achievement and we have a lot of different assessments that we do give our students throughout the year. Um, some cover certain content, some are more benchmark assessments, but we use all of that data to really create a full academic profile of a student um, and we share that data with parents so they understand how their child is, is growing throughout the year. What you're going to be seeing in the classroom is a small group instruction um, that's based on that data. So the data is telling you what their students are ready to learn next. Teachers have easy access to that and they can pull groups of students based on it and teach to those needs. One of the more exciting things to see is that we have data teams in each of the schools now and the data teams are looking at the results and then really talking through what do the individual students need. So I've had conversations with teachers over the last couple of weeks after the second administration about how informative it is to get that data and what it's doing for them in terms of what they're doing with their children in the classroom. It really helps them to organize their small group instruction, to see who needs a little extra push and uh, elementary school who needs a little extra instruction in a very specific area during the wind period in the elementary day. For our middle school teachers who needs a little extra push in mathematics in a particular concept so a group of students can be pulled during independent work time in class and given that extra coaching and extra support to master those skills and strategies. 
There's really no preparation for the assessments. Um, and that's not the intention. Um, the intention is just a measure of real learning. The best thing parents can do is to um, make sure their kids get you know a lot of rest and, and eat a good breakfast, um, and we just tell them to, to put their best effort forth.